Okay, we are back. Now, if you guys have uh, been watching the playthrough so far, you know that I'm low on life because I got jumped while trying to leave to go pay off the blood debt. What is that in there? Looks like there's a really nice bow in there. I would like to get inside there, please. May I have this bow? I wonder if that's a secret for later on, because look. You can tell there's a real nice bow sitting in there. See it? I wonder if that is a secret for later. Interesting. All right. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to spend this video um, getting all the loot out of town, dumping our loot into silver, getting um, a free um, points, um, a free skill point for whatever weapon we want, and uh, preparing to leave to go to get magic, because we will soon be going to get magic. So um, what I want to do is we need food and water, or we're encumbered and we need water. So we need to get those two things taken care of. So let's see, first off, let's see, I always hit the wrong buttons. Let's drink some water. Actually, we don't need to do that, we can just walk. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to run to run to our house, and we're going to sleep off the night, and then in the daytime, we're going to do some, uh, we're going to do some bartering, some buying and selling, and all that good stuff as only a skeleton knows how to do. <laughs> All right. So let's put anything in our chest that we might want to have later for for later use. Okay, which would be stuff like our iron scraps cuz we're going to want that later. Um That's food. We're probably going to not need these. Now, you, the only bad thing about being a skeleton, guys, is um, all of our, our... We have no pluses in our gear. So we're very vulnerable. But I'm, I'm hoping that by being a mage, that won't be that big of an issue. If it becomes an issue, we'll put on some gear. But for now, we're just going to play through as a skeleton. All right, let's see. That increases resistance. We'll put that away. Increases your weapon's impact. Uh, we'll put that away for now. The mining pick, we'll put that away. Because, well, no, we're going to sell this one because we know where there's another one. We can sell the hatchet. We can just sell the machete. And what it is, guys, is right now, it really doesn't matter what weapon you choose. Basically, I was just going by what does the most damage kind of thing, you know? And uh, the harpoon was doing fine. Uh, the mining pick's also a weapon, too. I, I really didn't realize it was that much of a weapon, but apparently it is. It's 20, 17 damage and 25 impact. And uh, the impact is really important, guys. Um, impact is what it takes to knock a creature backwards or knock a creature to the ground. So let's go ahead and keep the, that on for now. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to go rest really quick because if you guys look at my health bar, we need to sleep badly. And because we are in our house, we don't need to guard. Oh, um, there we go. I think four hours should do it. Let's do five hours. And we don't need to repair because nothing's broken. Okay, five hours, boom, zooms by. Yeah, and everything's fine now. See, all of our health is back up. That red shade is um, our max decrease. And since we slept, that went away. All right, so now we're going to go into town here and we're going to sell stuff. And then we're going to find a bunch of stuff. Then we're going to sell stuff and we're going to do that repeatedly. Uh, and then uh, until we are good to go, then we're going to go buy some skills, get a free skill, and uh, get ready to go to the mountain. Because it is almost mage time. So if you guys are in a chat and you want to chat, now's the time. Alright, so let's see. It doesn't matter. I think all the vendors actually sell the same or um, give you the same amount of money for everything. So we're just going to be a crazy skeleton running around. <laughs> okay, shopkeeper Doran. Okay. Is there something you need? Yeah, I'd like to buy something. And remember, we still do have the quest to talk to the guy and the girl that are leaving. Okay, so let's see. We're going to sell this. Uh, we'll sell these. What is this? Is it Cold Weather Resistance 2? Cold Weather 2. 
impact resistance too. We'll sell that. Um, cold weather defense. Cold weather defense. So we can sell those. Um, those will warm you up. We might need that when it gets winter. Sell that. Um, the beetles. We need those for recipes. All right, so that's all for now. And see, now we're up to sixty. We're up to sixty. That's nice. Did he have anything I want? I don't remember. Let's check really quick. Is there something you need? Mm, he has a bunch of good gear. A lot of good gear. A big backpack. A nomad backpack. Uh, we do want this. This is much bigger than what we're carrying. Um, recipes, leather hat, leather boots, bunch of good leather stuff. Tea. That might be a good one to get. Uh, we do want the backpack. It's much bigger than what we're carrying right now. So we'll do that. And then, now we have to, we have to change stuff around. Okay, so let's go right here in the road. So if I need to drop stuff, I can drop it. Alright, so I want to put this backpack on and get all the stuff out of this backpack. Alright, let's see now can I take that? No, I don't I want to be able to take this and sell it, but I don't believe that I can. Because like how my lantern's on the back of it now, I don't have to hold it in my hand. That's something else. It's another benefit of having a bigger backpack. Nice, huh? I want to put it in my bag, but I don't think it's going to. It says attach. Um, put out. There we go, so I don't want to use up all my oil just walking around town. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> you guys just chilling? This is the spot? This is the hangout right here? Get out of my way. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Um, don't think I need anything else from him. So now what we're going to do is we're going to walk around town and we're going to go gather up all the stuff that's just lying around for us to take and sell that we don't need. And then we're going to go get our health buff. Our, he our permanent health buff. So we're just going to run. Go down here, we gotta get some water, we gotta refill our um, can our water skin. This place is awesome. If you guys ever stop and take a look at this thing, it's it's awesome. Got plants all growing in their water. It's weird. But it's really well thought out. Anyways. Okay, so how much do we need? Our water skin is full, so we're just gonna drink. Drink clean water. Ooh, that's the good stuff. Alright. So now I know that we can talk to our friend Izan. He's right here. Hey, buddy. I take it. I've got one little fishing barge to my name, and by a lot, I'm gonna use it. I'm leaving for the heroic kingdom of Levant. Never to darken this stained city ever again. So he's mad about the blood debt. He hates that his brother gave him a blood debt. The heroic kingdom believes in chasing progress to create a better world. Yeah. They believe in pushing progress to create an even better society. Listen. It's a place where you can do what you were meant to do without having to answer to oppressive tribal laws and misdeeds of your ancestors. You succeed or fail on your own merit. No one else's. Why so far away? Levant believes that everyone deserves a shot at what they're best at. And doesn't have these backwards tribal laws to deal with. It's the rational place for a fresh start. And honestly, the farther away I am from the dolt of brother and the tyrant Riza, the better I'll sleep at night. All right? I take it you're not going to forgive your brother? Or how do you plan on making it to Levant? The sea can only take you so close. I mean, it's in the middle of a desert. We'll go by ocean as far as we can, then lick it across the Abrasar Desert on foot. We'll be rationing water the whole way. If I could afford it, I would have bought potions to help with the heat. But we'll have to try our luck without them. I'm gonna miss you. Wind be at your back. Or can I come along too? I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you, bro. Likewise, my friend. I hope we meet again under better circumstances. Wind be at your back. 
If you plan to make the journey to Levant completely on foot, be prepared for a long, long journey. You'll have to leave the Cherizines by going southeast and travel east through the entire Echinar forest and then finally south through the Abazar Desert itself. If you have the courage to face the Abrasar Desert, I'll be waiting for you. Okay, cool. We'll eventually see him again. So now, if you guys don't know this, if you wanted to pay off your blood price by going through the town, like I said, and nickeling and diming, because you can find 150 silver worth of stuff in this town to sell, if you talk to him, don't be nice to him. If you're like, hey, it's your fault I, have, I haven't paid off my blood debt, before you've paid off your blood debt, he'll be like, so what do you want me to do about it? And you can be like, well, I want my money now. And then he'll be like, what, so you're mugging me? And then you can be like, yes, I'm mugging you. And he'll be like, well, fine, be that way. And he gives you 25 silver. And that 25 silver is necessary to have your 150 to pay off your blood debt. So you can make, make an enemy of him and, <laughs> and get your money. I mean, he owes it to you anyway. He, actually, he's skipping out on town right now while he still owes you money. So, I mean, he, I don't really think he's that good of a friend. If he's, see ya, dude, see ya. Just gonna leave when I owe you money. Have a nice day. Kind of thing going on right there. What's happening here? I saw something light up, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Oh, salt water, okay. And then there's fish. Did I, did I get rid of my harpoon? Son of a biscuit. You, If you have a harpoon, you can gather up fish. But since I was not thinking ahead... I, uh, I can't have those fish now. It's just more stuff to sell or um, stuff you can cook either way. Alright, so let's see. Um, we do want to go to the left of town. There's an axe over there and some other stuff. There's a shield over here we, we need. I mean, we don't need it, but... It's more stuff that if I needed money, I could sell it. And actually, I do need money, so... We'll take this. Skeleton walk around with a plank shield. That That's not creepy at all. How you doing, buddy? How's it going? Roland? This is awful. Oh, yeah, that's his brother. That's uh, Elan's brother. So, you know, yeah, it was my fault the boat got wrecked. It's my fault Ezan's got a blood price to pay. It's my fault the investment went belly up because I was a careless idiot. I don't even know how Rizza found out. It's like she has some kind of sixth sense. Well, you were the only one in charge of the lighthouse, and when the lighthouse went out, it was kind of obvious who would be in responsible. I don't even know how Rizza found out. At least you deserve your blood price. I don't. Get to work and pay it back. Do your duty to the tribe. But grow up and stop whining. We all have burdens to bear. Yeah. Get to work and pay it back. Hmm. I know my duty and my future's descendants' duties. We will pay our blood price however many generations it takes. I won't run from this. This is my punishment, and I will shoulder it however I can until I die. That's what's expected of me, right? How do you intend to pay your blood price? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm bad at everything I do. I don't have the patience to fish. I'm not good with steel. Bah! I, I might just throw myself out of the outside world and try and make it there. You'll be dead in a day. No, that's the spirit. Make it work or die trying. Hmm. Maybe I should beg Ido to teach him some of his personal combat skills first. I don't want to be torn to pieces by hyenas or troglodytes. Hey, listen. You're leaving, Cicero, right? Hang on. Here it's not much, but it should help a little. I'll keep trying to make it up to you, Skelly Belly. I promise. There we go. So he gave me two life potions, an antidote, and a hex cleaner. And that's also stuff that, you know, you would be able to sell if you're still trying to pay off your debt, pr debt price. Just by being nice to the guy. Just by being nice. Alright, so let's see. How much silver do we have right now? 60, right? Where's my silver? Um, we have 35. Where does my silver go? I thought I had 60. Oh, I bought the backpack. That's right. That's right. So we need more than 35. We need 50, I think, to get the uh, the ability, which is fine. So remember, we we can go inside the uh, the cave here. 
and mine, right? We got a, a knife we can sell. Um, back up here, where is it? That's this way. Everything's so awkward in this city, how to get anywhere. Ooh, more berries, thank you very much. Take some of those. Alright, let's see. Oh, tripping. Give me those berries. Mmm. Alright, so first we're gonna start up here. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna get the uh, the axe out of here. And I think that's all you can really get over in this area. But that's a pretty nice axe if you like to fight with the axe. It's a pretty nice one. Especially at this low level, it does a lot of damage. But now we got an axe to sell, we got a shield to sell. Let's see, is there anything else in here? Check in the basement. There should be something in here. No, you can't get in there. Okay, the town key is required. We don't have that. I think if we follow her quest line and uh, go with her or tell her that we want to go with her, she gives it to us. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Okay, we'll take that. Okay, now there was the other place up over here, right? Dude, go through the door! <laughs> Skeleton that can't walk through a doorway. That's very helpful. No, there's nothing up here? No, I guess not. We can look at the big statue that's up here. Or the big statue, the big skeleton. Hey, I'm a skeleton too! <laughs> Alright, so... I don't think she has anything else to say to me, so let's go this way. And we'll probably go into that tunnel where we are left and uh, do some mining in there really fast after we sell this stuff off. And then we'll sell more stuff. Um, this chick here gives us a nice quest to go get a shield mushroom, which we definitely want to do because you get a lot of gold for that. So let's tell her that we're interested. Greetings, friend. I'm here about work. Lend me your ear. I'm looking for something I can do nearby. As a matter of fact, I could use a brush explorer for something. Tell me what you will risk for some silver. If the pay is good, I'm willing to put my life in danger. Here's what I need. Here. Here's what I need. Just what I need, Henry Higgins. I'm looking for a particularly rare mushroom in the shape of a shield. I hear it grows in Bristol Borough, northeast of Cisro. You'll know it if you find it. Okay, the primary characteristics are its immense size and red color. Bring me that mushroom and I'll pay you 70 silver for it. That is a lot of silver. Um, what kind of properties does it have? Sounds like an adventure. Perfect. Make sure you have a good weapon, a lantern, and plenty of supplies. Alright, cool. So, we got that quest. She Lend just gave us two antidotes. Okay, she's telling us that we gotta go out the gate and go to the left. All right. I'll see you. Skelly Belly. My guy's name is Skelly Belly. Love it. All right. So when we go do that, that'll be actually be next. We'll do that, I think, before this or the mage or I don't know. We should go get a, become a mage first and then go do that. Let's keep our priorities in line. All right. So. How much space do I have? I got 26, 50, yeah. So let's go in and go inside here. Or, or sell stuff, yeah. Well, let's sell stuff first, because we gotta get our health bonus. Alright, how's what it going, buddy? What can I do for you? How's it going? Okay, now if you go to craft me something, Here's you craft some nice stuff. The helmet, the armor, and the boots, definitely worth but you gotta get blue sand, and we don't have blue sand yet. Um, I'll show you guys where to get blue sand. It's actually pretty close. It's where we healed the guy with the bandage across. There's a little, um, a little cave there called like Star Star um, Fish Cave or something. And if you go in there in the daytime, it's full of water. If you go out there at night, there's no water, and you can collect blue sand. We'll do that in a little bit what too. What was that? All right, let's see. So let's browse his shop. All right. Let's see, we want to give him stuff. You can have these. 
That's hot weather. That's a lot of hot weather defense. Wow, that's 14. So I went to the desert with this. Whoa, that's nice. Sorry, I had to send out a quick message. All right, so um, let's go ahead and give him this. I'm pretty sure the pickaxe is just a straight weapon I can fight with, isn't it? Yeah, damage 17, impact 25. I do like the halberd better, but it's okay. We'll sell the machete. And we do want to keep this other stuff. Has no effect on bleeding, poison, disease, or burning. So we'll have to put that into our chest. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, confirm. And where are we at? We're at 54, and all we need was 50, so we're good. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and, um, well, hey. I got to talk to her, remember, to progress our quest, but we're going to do that in a little bit, not yet. Okay, so up here is where you go to get your health bonus, which is really important. You definitely want to grab it. Um, leather hat, blueprint. Um, leather attire blueprint and leather boots blueprints now you guys can either if you want to make leather hats and blueprints go ahead and um, learn these if not they sell for pretty good silver I think what five silver each so that's good to know all right let's see this guy here on the right no on the left he's who we want to talk to next Amber my friend um, I'd like to train with you now here we go it's right here it's called fitness it costs 50, it increases your maximum health by 25, and the amount of health you restore by sleeping by 20%. That is really good. Um, here's also steady arm, increases your impact resistance by 15 when you're blocking, so your block will be better. And then you also have shield charge. Uh, he has spell blades awakening, increases your maximum health, stamina, and mana by 15 each. And that costs uh, 500, that's kind of expensive, but hey, it's more. Um, cool boon. Adds frost damage to your melee weapon for 600 silver. Infuse fire. Adds fire damage to your melee weapon for 600. Uh, gong strike. Uh, strike your weapon on the shield, re removing the elemental infusion to make an explosion of that element. So basically, you're like you make your uh, sword be able to have fire on it. You smack it against your shield and it shoots fire out. And then elemental discharge. Shoot the projectile of the element that's infused on your weapon. So instead of hitting your weapon on your shield to make an explosion impact, you like point your weapon at something and it shoots that element at them. So that's all really good stuff. He's a spell blade, so wow, it's all really expensive also. But then again, um, these are spell blade um, abilities. You have to buy the spell blade awakening skill first, which is this. So you have to buy this to be able to use these. This other stuff you can just buy. Like right now, I just bought finesse. We'll definitely be happy about having finesse. <laughs> Alright, so now we have more hit points and our hit points heal up faster uh, when we're resting. Now we're going to go down to the cave underneath. Actually, before we go down there, let's go get our free skill point. You guys want to see where to do that? I mean, That's the guy in front of the gate when you tell him that you want to leave. He'll do whatever weapon you want. So whatever weapon you're holding in your hand is the weapon that he is going to give you a free skill for. And so what are we doing? We're definitely going to do the uh, the pickaxe, right? Yeah. Right, so let's go get a pickaxe skill. I mean, it blocks a little. It fights. It's not that it's a really big deal because we're going to go mage anyway. Maybe I can get a. Maybe I should get a staff. Is there a, a cheap staff? I don't remember. What can I do for you? All right. Does he sell a cheap staff? It's a dagger. An iron spear might be nice. Oh yeah, they sell for three each. Three, six, nine. Um, let's see. Tripwire, spikes, trident, sword, shield, halberd. Great sword, great club, great axe, club, and axe. I don't see what I'm looking for.
Yeah, I don't remember if there's a way to get a staff or not. Um, it's all right. It's all right. It's not that big a deal. I just think that if we're going mage, it would be more helpful to have a staff. But we'll find plenty of staffs on the way. But I mean, I was just thinking with our first skill. But then again, if you know, we're just blasting stuff with magic, which is my intent, <laughs> that'd be a little bit better. So anyways, we'll, we'll be fine with what we got. Okay, so let's just go ahead and go into this cave. And we're going to go do some mining really quick to get some more materials. And then we're going to sell it for more silver. And then we are going to go become a mage. Get excited, guys. Get excited. It is almost mage time. It's going to be fun to have a skeletal mage. I don't think I've seen one at all on anybody playing this game. will be the first. Oh, there's a trident land on the ground, too. Remember when we uh, killed the troglodyte here? clear this room out of stuff. I don't know what I can disassemble right there. Disassemble something and improve, improve bedroll. We'll take that. Nope, not. Wake up, Skelly. Wake up. Wake up. We don't want to go to bed. Let's go ahead and I'll light our lantern. There we go. Okay, we're going to disassemble this bedroll because we don't have a bedroll. So we'll take that. And see, it's now on top of our pack. It's pretty nice. I think it is. It should be. Oh, we have two. We can sell one. <laughs> That's a good thing about this game is you can sell pretty much anything. So if you find stuff like this, you're like, ah, we'll just sell it. Cooking Godberry's Jam, we'll definitely take that. That's something we want to learn, not sell. So let's learn that one. That's definitely going to come in handy over and over and over with all the jam that we've been finding. Is there anything else in here? Okay, we can't open up that because we don't have a key. Flint and steel, we'll take that. There's another mining pick. I'm going to fight this dude up here. I thought there was a place to mine back here already. That's right, this is a good place to take a break in the video. It's been about a half an hour right now anyway. So what we'll do is we'll pause the video and then we'll come back and we'll clear out this cave. And we are very, very close to on our way to becoming a mage. So don't worry guys, I'll show you how to do all that too. Thank you for watching you guys. Stay tuned for the next video. I appreciate you guys' uh, patronage, patronage, your support, your conversations. And if you guys want to watch more videos, my Twitch is VGames Gone Wild. My YouTube is Domination Gaming Channel. I hope to see you guys soon.